Hey YouTube, my name is Andre and I have a new cheap trick for you. It's about performing with the Octatrack, it's about sampling. It's just about my workflow. There's a ton of different options you can do and I just want to show you how I do it. So basically I have the Octatrack here. I have connected um, some machines and I connect Audio 4 Plus with an iPad and Audio Bus 3. There's a guitar coming in there and the vocals of course and also there's a foot pedal connected. It's um, three-way switch from Yumi um, Logi D3, that's the name, and with this I can remote control the Octatrack. If I push the outside buttons I can um, go through the tracks and with the inside button I can engage the recording and disengage it. I have set up some flex machines and a master track with a compressor and my um, recording setup page one is as follows. I record everything that I want to and um, I have set it to trick one two and the recording length is set to fixed pattern length. And on the second page, important that you have the fade in and fade out applied to the minimum value to have a seamless loop. So let's get started. Let's improvise with some guitar and let's see what, what happens. in the machine and then I put a trick on the first and here's my loop. It has already some effects applied, some just some reverb, nothing specific. I just reloaded the part to, to start from scratch and yeah, that's that's the guitar part first. First thing that I recorded. And then maybe a shaker for percussion purposes. Go to the next track. Just some random notes. Put some tricks here to start the sample. basic reverb, maybe some thump piano, see how it sounds. Start the sampling. Put a trick. Again, some reverb. 
the, that's the basic thing. You have I have four four um, loops going on, and now I can start and use scenes to apply different settings. You can change the values here and here, and they they are these are connected to the scenes. So uh, let's start maybe with the guitar. I solo it first to hear it better. And I put my slider to the right to have to have it um, to the scene. Just clear it first. And I apply some filter. You have to press the button of the scene that you want to change and then apply some changes. start a beat on an external machine maybe on the rhythm or whatever you have connected um, the things really come into place so I started a very simple beat on the rhythm um, boom some here and this here let's see how this sounds <laughs> So the external beat goes on and on and keeps everything together like a drummer in a band and now I can start um, performing with the crossfader on the octatrack while the rhythm plays the beat. another song. You can now resample this if you want to. Or we'll go back to the start. Another thing you could use is parts. Um, parts is, is a very powerful thing on the Octatrack. Basically Basically, you can save all the settings here and here to different parts. You have four per uh, pattern. The, the important thing is that you always save it. You go to the parts menu with function and MIDI 
and then with function and bank you can save and rename the parts first thing i do is i copy the part with function and copy and then go then i go with the cursor to the second part and i paste the part so basically i now have copied the first part to the second part slot and they are identical and now i can save the second part that's important because now we want to reload the part I have this part two now uh, connected to this pattern. And if I start it, it sounds the same. And now I can also um, really fuck up the sample with all the settings. And then I can just put push function and reload or Q and the part gets reloaded. It looks like this. <laughs> Go crazy! Use the scene to go even more crazy. Then you can reload the part. You can always reload it or you can save it. If you like it, you can save it as a new part. You can save the part again and have this uh, as another part and you can always switch between parts because you firstly had um, saved the first part. And that's another nice trick to perform and to go crazy and to experiment and this machine is perfect for experimenting so that's my cheap trick i hope you liked it and go to your machine stop youtube um, turn everything offline put your headphones or your speakers on and then have some fun with the octatrack thanks for watching